So thanks for joining me and today's video is going to be about what some people call the work by Byron Katie or it can just simply be about um, self-knowledge, knowing thyself, knowledge or mastery of the mind like, like the, the mind can cause a great deal of stress and I also want to talk about um, false beliefs and our belief systems and how it affects us emotionally in life how depending on what we believe we can create a lot of suffering in ourselves so I'm going to get to the root right now okay instead of delaying any longer so I'm going to give you some examples of the work by Byron Katie which is brilliant and you can check out thework.com for more information on her fantastic work and I pay my love and salutes to Byron Katie she does a fantastic job she's not not anywhere as popular as I'd probably like her to as I'd like her to be to be honest but neither am I <laughs> So let's be honest, let's be real. I um, hope you like my shirt. I just have some coconut water. So, the work by Byron Katie. You ask yourself, okay, let's say you have an emotion that's coming up, you've triggered, there's an emotion coming up. Let's say it could be guilt. It could be guilt, it could be fear, it could be anxiety, it could be sorrow, anything. Ask yourself, okay, what is my belief? What, like, what's my belief? Um, is ask yourself are the thoughts ask yourself ask yourself are the thoughts that I'm thinking true so ask yourself what are your thoughts so so for example what your beliefs what your belief is for example I could think that the belief let's say the belief they don't love me let's say I have let's say it isn't like something I'm actively thinking but I look within and identify that's really the root belief the root thought they don't love me so you ask yourself, is this thought true? So often we say, yeah, our mind is like active and we're emotional. We say, yeah, bloody hell yeah. If they, didn't, if they didn't love me, they wouldn't be doing this. If they did love me, they wouldn't be doing this. Um, often, okay, so then you ask yourself, how do I feel when I... The second question is, is am I 100% sure this is true? Because this makes you question your automatic reaction. So basically speaking, I want to say something, guys. We all have a re reaction, spiritual or not spiritual, like just using those convert commas. So if you decide to loosely call people more spiritual on the path, like we're all equally spirit and God and everything else, of course. But let's say on earth at this time, you say they're more into spirituality. And I like to call spirituality self-honesty and honesty. Okay, that's what my definition of spirituality is. And that involves healing and growth and expansion and letting go. Self-honesty, facing yourself, speaking the truth, being true to yourself, true with yourself and true to others instead of like in denial and acting like a baby and not growing up. Just being a juvenile and being a victim and being a blamer instead of being honest and responsible and starting to grow up as a human divine adult. Cheapers. So, um... So you, you, you have, we all have a reaction, but then we get to respond to our reaction. And that's where, that's where the rubber meets the road. That's where, that's where we get to act grown up and question things, okay? So we, we get to make amends for our initial reaction if it happened to be negative or let's say over the top or extreme or f believing in false things. So the truth shall set you free is my favorite, probably it's up there, my favorite quotations. I love the truth will set you free because it's so powerful and true. Anyway, I won't get into that. I'll make another video about that. But that's like such a deep and powerful thing. So in this case, guys, false beliefs will bind you and bound you up. Seeing the truth of, will set you free. So, am, am I 100% true? Am I 100% sure this is true? Do they... Is it bad that this person, let's say... That, that I'm sick or that this person or me are going to die in the future, be it a week or 50 years. Um, do, is it true that they don't love me? Um, is it true that they are a bad person? And sometimes we're judging people as bad bad person, like that's just not true. Like people have negative energy embodied temporarily, but no one's a bad person. We're all good people. We're all loving, divine, human, good people. Um, good, divine beings. So. Yeah, there can be negative energy embodied, and that's like sometimes we can be tired, sometimes we can be sick, sometimes we can be happy, sometimes we can be happier than before, sometimes we we can even be very down. 
but it doesn't change our true intrinsic nature, the spiritual nature. So I'm not trying to say, pretend that people don't have negative energy and just be abused. I'm, I'm absolutely not saying that at all. I'm just saying, realize a deeper truth and have, have a deeper perspective. So, the, so just to go on, the next question is, how do I feel when I believe this thought? So how do I believe, how do I feel when I believe this thought? When I believe this thought, I feel, what are the emotions? I feel angry, sad, Let's say the thought also they're trying to use me. It can be a million thoughts, to be honest. Like, um, I feel angry, sad, defensive, irritated, frustrated. Okay, so uh, <laughs> how do I feel and who do I become? When I, like, how and who do I become? I become an annoying person. I become a judgmental person. I become an irritable, an irritable company. I become not like I usually am. I become closed. I, I, gain, I go get distance. Instead of being my usual self, I'm more distant, I'm colder, I'm, I'm not there, I'm not emotionally connected, I, I don't speak as much, I go into a defensive shell, I, or it could be I get angry, I get confrontational, I get, I get loud, I get com confrontational, aggressive, I, I, I eat or do negative things from my body or myself or my life. So, so you're gaining awareness now guys of first of all the belief, your belief system, second of all the fact you've bought into your belief so much and it's, it's very often not true guys very 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 nearly always not true i swear to god it really is then you're you're learning and becoming aware of your emotional reaction when you believe these thoughts and the person that you become compared to okay so now here's the next question okay who would i be without this thought believed who would i be I'd be freer, I'd be bubblier, I'd be kinder, I'd be nicer, I'd be more my real self, I'd be happier, I'd be bubblier and less stressed, I'd be more playful, I'd be more like a child, I'd be, I'd be able to be more honest, I'd be able to speak more, I'd be able to speak better, I'd be able to be clearer, I'd be able to think clearer, feel clearer, talk clearer, speak, say clearer, I'd be able to connect with the person more, I'd be able to love more, I'd be able to show my real loving nature more. So. Let's say I have, I'm going to just streel off other belief systems that we have. I have to do what my parents tell me. I have to do what my society or culture tells me. I have to live up to other people's expectations. These make you feel like shit. So, so if you're doing what these little questions I said, they'll make you feel like terrible, contracted and bound up and tied up. Not you, like I was describing a minute ago, your natural, happy-go-lucky, free, playful, creative self. Um, I can't do this. I can't do this. I'll never be able to do this. I'll never get well again. I'll never have a girlfriend. I'm going to be sick for the rest of my life. Um, I'm not going to be able to have do. I'm not going to be able to have any. I'm not going to be able to do that. This, that, or the other. I'm not going to have any money. I'm going to be poor forever. I'm going to be sad and lonely forever. I had a lot of these thoughts too. Now, not all, but I had a lot of these thoughts, and I was miserable and depressed. Ooh, we all have a lot of healing to do, guys. I really recommend getting healing, coaching, counseling, whatever you're drawn to. We all have the modalities that we're drawn to and the life will synchronously drop on our lap like you see a card, you know? You see a card somewhere and it's like, ooh, where did this come from? Like, I found it in a book. <laughs> Got such amazing synchronistic stories about like people finding cards in the most random, unusual places ever and then it leaves them on an incredible, winding journey of magical, synchronistical excellence just crazy, like really heart touching to be honest, like moving my heart. Um, so guys, I hope this video helps and I hope, sorry, like it's, I know it's silly, but I'm just being a little bit playful, but sorry if I wasn't clear enough, you know. I wish I could be a bit shorter maybe or get to the point faster. But my intention is my heart is pure and I just really want to help you to break out of the limitations and the, the, the madness of not, not knowing if what you believe in life is true and who you listen to or follow, especially like the society and the world we grew up in, is basically a whole lot of nonsense. Like most, nearly all health stuff, healthy real stuff is um, distorted, hidden or lied about as if it's like unhealthy or bad for you. And everything that's like bad for you, congest you, clog you, bog you down emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, make you sick, make you old, super fast, calcify your pineal gland so your psychic abilities are knocked offline. <laughs> so and then you're more living your ego your crown chakra is closed more you live in the, the fearful separated world of 
individual physical identities where you're sad, lonely, and fearful. So, like, there's dairy and, oh, dairy and meat are fantastic, you need your milk and your protein. Massive bullshit lies. Mofo. Bullshit idiots who are just, like, trying to, like, lie and hurt people all the time. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll question my belief. Obviously not all the time, I'm just speaking very loosely. Um, but yeah, I do have an emotional reaction because I care and love and anger serves a purpose. And so like, I care for people, it's a protective energy. I want more love, peace, light in the world and a higher experience for all of us, if that's what you want. So if you're still watching this video, obviously you want that. Um, please share your support by, anyway, I'll talk, I'll talk to you about that in a minute. So guys, I'll leave you with that, I think. Is there anything else? Thework.com will go into this in more detail. It's a brilliant thing. It's great for working out muddled up emotions and thoughts and beliefs and stuff like that. Um, meditation can help. Um, I, I, I'll, I'll leave a playlist here for my playlist on meditations. Um, the, the present moment and expanded awareness, something like that, okay? It's a pretty good one. It'll help you so, so much to be more centered and grounded. You need to know your belief system. You need to know your emotions and where they're coming from. Emotions, okay, come from a, be a belief, basically speaking. So, and another question we can ask ourselves is why is that so bad? Um, let's say I can't, like, um, another thought or I shouldn't do this. I, I, a big culprit is I can't, you know, I can't make it, I can't do this, I, I can't do that. It's like self limitations, it's, I can. Or, like for me in my life, I used to be thinking like, I don't have the health that I want, that I used to have, and I lost it dramatically in a big crash in my life. And then more lately, in the last few months and even the last few weeks, I'm thinking, okay, I got what I want to a degree. And that's my little secret. You got what you want to a degree. And you're going to get more of it with my vision and determination and daily practice. So instead of feeling I don't have, you say, I have. And I'm getting more. I have it to a degree. Even the peace, even if you're depressed, you have peace a few moments a day. But obviously I highly encourage you to take very powerful action and manifest your dreams, your true heart's desires. So, anyway. Um, I send you love. Hope this video helps. So please give it a like, guys, if you liked it. I really, really, really appreciate that if you do. It helps the search engine optimization, helps promote the video of my channel. I'm very appreciative of that. I put a lot of work, positive, loving energy. I threw a tent of carrot into this. I'm here to help people all my life, <laughs> almost, almost. But uh, if you're interested, also check out my books below. I've written two books. Subscribe to my Herb channel, get 20% off your first order. Sub subscribe to my own fox.org to keep in touch with my newsletter. And you can check out all my work, my, f my quotations, free content. Check out the different sections on my own fox.org as well as my coaching if you're interested. Spread the word, guys. If you like me, if you think I'm genuine and authentic, please do. And you can see testimonials on my website too. I know I help people massively and I'm grateful. I thank God or source of the universe because I've been through a bundle of shit, like positive shit by the way. I'm not judging as bad. Spiritually positive, physically tough. So, bigger perspective, fantastic. Limited human perspective, temporary, hard shit. <laughs> so I'm able to like actually help people from experience, from losing everything, <laughs> almost everything in a variety of categories. <laughs> But anyway, I won't get into that. But yeah, thanks for your, your showing your support, guys. Sharing, liking, commenting, favoriting, subscribing. I appreciate you. Keep in contact and join me on Facebook and Twitter. I'll see you again in another video. If you have any video requests, questions or comments, please do leave it below. Thank you. See you again. Bye. Let's have a great day, guys. Get healthy, happy, joyful. And then um, check out my links below regarding how to practice self-love, literally actually practice it it's a brilliant video i love that video by my own standards it's it's really meaningful people have said it's changed their life all right see you guys hmm.